To add an asset to the Latium Marketplace, just go to the Marketplace tab, click Create an Asset, and start entering your asset details. First with the asset name, mate, category, and subcategory, then the description and price for the customer, along with its current location. On the right side, you enter the asset features, which are typical to any motorized vehicle. If you have any accessories, you can list them along with a given price that could be purchased with the vehicle uh, if, if requested by the customer. You can also upload images from your computer. As another user of Latium Marketplace, you could search for this asset now and bid to buy the vehicle. So we found our 2.0 London bus and now we go to make a bid to buy it and we select the accessories we'd like to purchase with it. As we can see, the bid is pending and the total price is presented. Once the bid is made, if the asset owner is online, he will receive a real-time notification that he could click on and he could review the bid. If he likes the details, he accepts it and the original bidder will get a notification as well. Now that the bid has been accepted, the original bidder, if he's online, will get a real-time notification and he can click on this to see that his bid has been accepted. And he could also go to his transactions where he could see that the bid has gone through and that he has purchased the vehicle. Searching is only one of the ways that you can find the asset that you want. On the home page, there's featured categories that are decided at random where you could select them and you could possibly see the asset you want. You could also see featured assets that are decided by the admin uh, where they are selected and they will be presented to every user on the home page. Although if you are doing this more than browsing, you might want to use a refined search. We have many search and filtering options. For example, you could search by category. We could find, in this case, a one level or a two level bus specifically. Or you can go by make. You check here for a Ford, we see the mini bus come up. Or you could use the filtered search. Enter in our bus, and we see all the buses on the website. From there, we could also refine it by the most recent, and if it's a featured item. Here we have two buses that are featured items, but they're organized most recently. Here we use all the features. We want one in Edmonton that's most recent with an accessory and a featured item. And we get our two-level London bus. Latin Marketplace comes with an excellent admin panel. From there, you're able to do many things, such as ban a user, send a message to a user, send a message to all users, or, or uh, edit attributes of the website. Here we are sending a message to a specific user, which looks very similar to that of sending a message to all users up in the top left corner. Here we can see the message uh, has been sent to the user. Next, we check all listings on the website, and here we can make something a featured item or remove it from being a featured item. We could also look at the details or delete the asset if we do not like this and want this to be on our site. From there, we could look at all the categories that are available to customers when they are creating an asset. Here we could add assets, uh, categories, uh, and subcategories. We could also add make in a similar fashion and cities. When an admin bans a user from the site, they will automatically be logged out and banned from logging back in.